Okay, Gar, so we're at the Angels. Yeah. So let's just see how good your, your Angels present and past might be. Uh, Tory Hunter. All right, so Tory Hunter, actually very, very plain, almost normal. So just kind of like loosen up, cock his head a little bit to the side. His whole thing is on the dismount. So he'll hit it and then he'll wing the bat two handed that way. There aren't 10 players that do that. Jason Wirth, John Buck, Derek Jeter, there's so few players, so so Torrey Hunter will hit it and then whip it, and on a home run, he'll whip it really high into the air, as if to say, that's right, that's my celebration. Hideki Matsui. All right, so first of all, Hideki Matsui will walk around like this. He'll walk around like When he's just kind of walking around, his either his shoulders or ankles or something is hurting. Then he'll set things up to where He'll open up his mouth kind of wide, make a little bit of a scary face, and then he'll take one last glance at the bat to make sure it's in the right place. After all these years of pro baseball, he'll still go like this. And then he'll do the Japanese fall away from the plate that everybody does. Fukudome, Ichiro, everybody. Okay, my favorite, one of my favorites, Mike Napoli. All right, so Napoli's great because you start with a lot of chest. So you unbutton the shirt way too far, way too far. And then you shave your beard up as high as it'll possibly go. And then he used to put his arms way up like this. And this year, he's going a little bit lower. And then when he hits two home runs in one playoff game off Josh Beckett, he'll also flip the bat like Torrey Hunter. He'll flip the bingo. And kind of go ole as he runs the first base. That's Mike Napoli. Howie Kendrick. Okay, so Howie Kendrick always hits the ball to right field or right center field. So he kind of gets in position to only do that. And then he'll bounce forward, bounce forward, bounce forward, bounce forward, 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 forward. That's how he does it. And then he'll hit it. Always, never pulls it. Bobby Abreu. Okay, so Bobby Abreu's great. Eyes, almost the opposite of Howie Kendrick. Eyes very close together, whereas Kendrick's are a little bit further. And then he'll, he'll walk out, looks like he's just lifted weights. And then he'll have not all 10 fingers touch the, touch the uh, bat. So he'll kind of wiggle around like this. So his foot will be, foot will be popping up like this. His, all of his fingers won't be on the bat. So his, he'll, his fingers will overlap and he's so muscular that doesn't even need all his fingers. I need all my fingers, even on a wiffle bat. So he'll kind of move like that, and then he'll almost fall away as the pitch comes. And then he'll swing. How about Mark McGuire? OK, so McGuire did two different things. First of all, on the A's, he did this thing where he would flap his forearms together. So he had the mullet coming down, and he would do this thing where he would go like this. But then on the Cardinals later on, he would get, he basically had these contacts where he wasn't allowed to blink, because it would, it would tear up. So then he'd be over on the sidelines, and then McGuire would geek, geek up for the at-bat like this. How about Pete Rose? OK, so Pete Rose would almost frown, and so he would be like this. Look around, meant business, and just had, it had a wig. I mean, that thing was amazing. That thing should be in the Hall of Fame. His, head, his hair should be in the Hall of Fame by itself. Forget the actual over 4,000 hair. So you would get like this and then. So frowning. How about Mike Sosha? Okay, so Mike Sosha, first of all, it's the befuddled look. Like, you can't believe the umpire just called that a ball. I'd be like, what? 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 But as a player, he used to stick a swing right on his hip. Very few players would do that. So he would be there and then go. And so it would stop right here and then run, number 14. Has he ever seen you do that? He has. And then okay. I did the Mickey Hatcher as well right after that for him. OK. How about Rod Carew? All right, so Rod Carew, very loose, almost too loose. His helmet would never stay on when he would run toward first. So he would be kind of droopy with the bat fall asleep sometimes in between pitches, and then would prop the bat all the way back up, and then hit it and run, ball holding his helmet. Darren Erstad. 
All right, so Darren Erstad was all, all chaw. His, his chaw played a big role, and his chaw almost made him, his mouth look like he was challenging someone to fight. Go, like, go, problem with me? Come on. So he would go like this, put his bat out like this, and then would almost fall down when he would swing. So you'd go like this and go, and then start running the first. Okay, David Eckstein. All right, so David Eckstein is great. He just would go to town on his on his hat and on the bat. So he'd be like, oh, David Eckstein would go like this. He'd go, and then uh, nobody in baseball leans as far forward as he does. So he'll go like this, and then he go. 